Some of the biggest challenges facing the world today include tackling global hunger, environmental protection, stimulation of economic growth, poverty reduction, as well as establishment of sustainable systems for agriculture. To overcome these challenges, there is need for establishment of systems to ensure availability of high-quality agricultural inputs necessary for crop production, crop protection, control of diseases and pests related to agricultural goods, and sustainable export and import market access. Kenya's economy is largely agriculture-based. Approximately 70% of working Kenyans make their living on agriculture. There is evidence that Kenya's volume of trade with the international markets is growing faster than in many parts of the world. The agricultural sector is a major consumer of imported fruits, flowers, vegetables and propagation material, including seeds for sowing, most of which are imported through the Mombasa Seaport and Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, Nairobi. The bulk of plant products imported into Kenya consists of planting materials, seeds, fruits and grains for milling and relief food. To facilitate importation, 24,295 plant import permits PIPs, were issued in 2013-2014 financial year and 15,225 in the 2012-2013 financial year. Plant import permits are issued by the Kenya Plant Health Inspectorate Service, KEFIS, the government parastatal in Kenya whose responsibility is to assure the quality of agricultural inputs and produce to prevent adverse impact on the economy, the environment and human health. In Kenya we have had several experiences of introduction of pests that have caused havoc either to our environment or our agriculture. So when we are issuing plant permits, we aim at informing the country that is exporting into Kenya our requirements for import, which aim at making sure that we are able to access superior materials for planting, or if, even if it's also food for consumption, if we are importing food for consumption, but we don't bring them together with the pests that may be introduced into our environment or into our agricultural production places. Though all imports of plant products have some level of risk in spreading diseases, propagation material poses the highest risk. Proper tracing, tracking and management practices for such imports should therefore be put in place. For a long time, the plant import regulation process has been manually supported through paper documents. The CAFIS employee would have to peruse through this volume. Say you're looking for maize, then you have to peruse through the section that has got maize. And once you find the section, that has got maize, you really have to peruse through what type or what form is that maize being imported for. Is it for propagation? Is it for milling? And then you have to decide what kind of conditions you have to provide to that importer. Then the same cases or employee would have again to go to a, man, a computer. Then this information will be typed into the system, I mean into the computer. As a result, this process was time-consuming, inefficient and lacked proper tracking mechanisms to enable surveillance of quarantine material. This put the horticulture industry at risk. It was also an obstacle in ensuring increased production and maintaining high-quality agricultural products. The issue of um, uh, introducing uh, new diseases in new territories, pests in new, new territories, and this also pre presents a huge challenge and task on a country or the economy. And so the countries have to decide and have to think through on how to manage these kinds of risks and these kinds of problems that are presented by these kinds of challenges. In 2009, CAFIS and a team of experts from the Ministry of Economic Affairs, Agriculture and Innovation started a project to implement an automated support system 
for the import of horticultural products. The project was implemented by CAFIS together with the Netherlands and industry players. This system has been developed together with our stakeholders who included the Fresh Produce Exporters Association of Kenya, FPIC, Kenya Flower Council, uh, KFC, and uh, STAC. These are the Seed Traders Association of, Ken of Kenya. The members of these associations are the main importers of the propagation materials. And so it was important that we work together with them for the program to be successful. Funding for the project came from the Netherlands and the government of Kenya. This system has improved the import process significantly using smarter communication and smarter inspections. It was in January 2013 that the implementation of the automated support system for the import of phytosanitary consignments project began in Kenya. The system is already improving protection of plant resources, food security, enhanced surveillance of risk materials, environmental protection, safe exchange of biogemplasm, and enhanced trade facilitation. This system is known as Plant Import and Quarantine Regulatory System, PIQRS. The system provides a platform for efficient and effective service delivery geared towards meeting customer needs and expectations while at the same time enabling the competent authority to keep track of imported risky plant material. The system facilitates importers to make online requests for plant import permits, quarantine facility inspection, as well as requests for evaluation of biological imports. The plant quarantine import system, which was introduced recently online, it has benefited us a lot by applying online from the computer while seated in the office. And within a short time, we can manage to get our permits done. What I've noticed is that uh, you can apply for an import permit and collect it in another uh, um, office within Kenya, where CAFIS, they are running their, 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 their duties. It also enables CAFIS to track imported quarantine consignments, which pose plant health risks. System users can view the status of their requests online and access its history during the entire life cycle of the application. CAFIS inspectors have been able to get to know what is coming and uh, they've been able to clear the products in time in, a, in an efficient manner. There are no delays and within no time we have the plants in the farm to grow them. We used to waste a lot of time uh, running up and down on those errands where officers used to go come back to the office but now we're able to do that from the comfort of our offices and the papers collected. ICS system is very effective, time saving and uh, it has minimized a lot of errors which uh, used to happen uh, when uh, processing the import permits uh, through the manual process. I will recommend uh, this system to other importers because of the benefit that we have seen in the new system. The beauty of the system is that it was configured with thinking into the future. We were thinking about integrating the system with the customs and again also with the Kenya National Single Window System. And that way it will not be possible for plant material which has come into the country to escape without being or going through the due process of regulation of importation. Meaning that there is much more control now using the system. There's much more streamlined import uh, clearance. There's much more uh, communication, interagency communication. And there is much more efficiency in terms of clearance. Mm -hmm.